What's going on, friends and family? It's Runny G. Y'all know what it is. We're coming with another segment on AMC to the moon where we going. So look, I mean, Powell spoke this week, right? And he was a little weird with his conversation. Let's just say that. The way he spoke about the economy, you know, it was like he was trying to express that we're we're in a bad state, uh, but he wanted to put it to you like your parents would uh, when you know your dog or cat died. You know that's that's the way I took it. But regardless, the market reacted in a very positive way, and now my AMC position has moved drastically. So thank you, pal, Mister Pal. We appreciate your services. In public office as a chairman, as a Fed chairman. Thank you. Anyways, as you guys know, I got into AMC around the 22nd of November. Okay, we're going to look at the chart right here. Uh, I, got in, I got in on this day. And as you guys know, I'm a swing trader. So I got in on this day with the anticipation that it was going to hit certain levels. And let's talk about those levels. So... I got in uh, around, I want to say this was $7.95. That's when I got around and got into AMC. I grabbed 1,200 shares. I'm currently up, as you guys can see, $552. And here's my price uh, target. My price target uh, is at $9.24. Now, why is that? Why do I think it has that price target? We look back, uh, let's go to our daily chart. If we look back, uh, we see that AMC has downtrended pretty much all year, along with many other stocks, but that, that's normal. So why am I getting into AMC now? So as you can see, I have a few lines drawn here. Uh, you know, supports, resistance, all those fancy things. Uh, the reason why I got the price target, my price target is actually at $10.76. I think it can reach that. Uh, it may not be able to reach that by the end of the year, but I wouldn't put it past it. Now, I say that because during the holidays, things tend to slow down with the trading volume. Everybody's shopping. Uh, you know, everybody's lounging around. It's not going to be a lot of volume, especially during Christmas and that whole week. Regardless, though, uh, I think that it can at least get to 926. And that's why I placed a bet uh, on, on the 22nd of November. Got into it. And, you know, you see right here, there is what I call, uh, you know, what I call a, a, a small resistance. And I say that because, you know, my lines are not going to be perfect. But I see that the last time it dropped really heavily right here back in this was this is the beginning of uh August of 2022 it dropped heavily and it tried to go up but when it dropped before it dropped down to your $8.12 this thing right here uh it started to consolidate so we had some struggle right here that struggle right there let me know that there is buyers and and you need to think like this as a trader where there is buyers there's also sellers because in order for you to buy somebody has to sell you the shares but what happens is when stock prices go up and down there's more buyers if it goes up there's more sellers if it goes down so right here is letting me know that you know there was a lot of buyers right here so it didn't just drop um you know within the, the same day it actually went up again then completely dropped down. But what happened right here is that there is a nice support right there. And that's that's why I think it can hit those levels. Um, and right now it's currently at the level where it dropped. And there is a resistance. Okay, now it almost got me out. I almost won on the trade and been out. But it didn't reach that level. This is a little concerning to me. But I think with the volume today, it could carry over. There was 96 million people buying and selling into AMC today. Now, think about that. It had a positive day. It went up 13%. Uh, and, I mean, 
you can't really complain with that. You can't. But I'm thinking that it can still push. Here's why. There's these partnerships that are developing. Remember that. This momentum going into uh, the Black Panther release. The Zoom partnership. Uh, we still have... We still have... God, the Saudi partnership. You still have all these things going on. I don't see why it wouldn't. On top of that, if you look at what AMC is doing, they're getting involved in tech. Not just entertainment and things like that. They're getting involved uh, in, in the tech industry, but it is still a consumer service. And it's a consumer service that's going to stay alive during 2023. Because a lot of these companies are going to really take a hit. The market, I think, is going to take a hit. But I believe that we're starting to bottom out. But I think we're going to have another drop. And that's not to get the bears excited. <laughs> that is to let us know that what is to come. And what Powell really didn't speak on. Uh, and so, with that being said, I think that my first price target at 926 is still solid. Uh, I may sell early if this continues to go up. Uh, but it doesn't, it, it can't get past this point. I may sell early around $9. Uh, if it still, if it struggles within the next day and then Monday, if it struggles next week, I'm going to be out of the position. I'm very impatient when it comes to, I'm patient trader, but I don't I like to hold for that long. Uh, I'm not impatient like a day trader, but I am patient enough to swing for a few days to a week or so. But after a week, I'm just I'm, I get tired of the stock, and if it's, if it's not moving, I'm just like no. And if it doesn't have any rumors or news on the stock, I'm out. Point point blank, period. But I think it can hit this point, and we can go ahead and sell out right there. Uh, but if you are not in this trade, there is still opportunity for me. Uh, if you're not in this trade, I will see what it does. If it can maintain above 809. The next day or so, or Friday, because this is a Thursday, Friday, and then Monday over the weekend, I think it'll be a solid buy. Uh, it did pull back. Now, if you look at the, the two-hour chart, that was a nice pullback. I think it's in a buy zone. I think it, it definitely can be bought um, for a buy on a pullback. And y'all, you guys know that that's my strategy. It's a very simple strategy that you can you know, apply to all, your, all of your trading when it comes to swing trading. And... Uh, I do it all the time. I you guys see me do it, and I continue to profit. Now I'm up 612 bucks. Like the, the stock is still moving in the aftermarket. Things are going really, really good for us. But I wanted to go ahead and just announce uh, that I think AMC is going to continue to go to the to the moon. I think that we're hitting a bottom for AMC uh, with the double bottom um, target right here. We have a double bottom right there, and it and it broke out. Uh, more of a cup and handle too. If you're familiar with the cup and handle um, pattern, you know this is the handle. This is kind of like the cup. Uh, and let me see if I can draw that out. I may be able to draw that out, uh, or I may not. Yeah, I may not um, be able to draw that out for you guys. But if I do it, I will be. Um, oh, I, I can't draw it out. Here we go. So, cup and handles. Oh, nope. See, I don't know how to use that tool. <laughs> Obviously, cup of handles tend to do this. And then they handle out. So now you got your handle right there. If you look closely, you got your cup. You got your handle. It tends to do that. Breaks out. That is a trend reversal pattern. And so we can expect to see, um, we can expect to see basically a nice uptrend uh, for the, days and months to come and i think that's going to happen right and that's why i'm coming to you guys because it's going to happen uh <laughs> it's going to happen eventually uh and especially if uh you've been paying attention to amc and all the things that are really going on i try to got i try to keep you guys updated uh so you know and you're in the know you're in the how and that way you can make informed decisions in doing your due diligence uh, we don't want anybody not to do their own due diligence, but I'm thinking that one day uh, we're basically going to see a nice, nice uptrend. Uh, we're going to see that thing trend out 
just like it did uh, way back when. And let me fix my chart. Now, we have some crazy spikes, and that's why it, it, it tumbled a lot and people lost faith. But don't lose faith in AMC. A lot of things are still going. A lot of good intakes from the company. A lot of good decisions are being made by executives. We still have opportunity, and you don't want to miss out on the opportunity. You really want to take advantage of this. And if you're not, you're missing out. Uh, and you know how our AMC traders are. You know, if you're not with the movement, you're an enemy. <laughs> Even if you think AMC is a good company, you got to be with the movement. AMC to the move, AMC strong. You guys know um, now how I'm moving on this position. Uh, as a pro trader, my analysis um, is key when it comes to understanding price movements, especially for short-term traders. Now, for long-term traders, you know, I have a different outlook, but... Uh, I just kind of gave you a little glimpse of that and how I think it's going to uptrend over the next year going into 2023. That's all I have for you guys. As you know, love you, friends and family. Y'all make sure y'all like, share, subscribe the channel. All of my handles on social media are R Green and Tech. Y'all go ahead and hit the like button, share if you think this is very helpful. And as y'all already know, y'all know what it is. It's Ronnie G. I'm out. Peace.